When you think of radio personalities that have been around this area for decades, very few have stood the test of time. Jason Keller is one of those exceptions. He first came to the local airwaves in 1996 to 103.5, 103.9 The Edge. He was there for a few years and then made the leap to the short-lived Channel 103.1. But ultimately, he found his home at 102.7 WEQX in Manchester, Vermont. Jason has outlived the stations in the area that gave him his local debut. Keller is a true radio pioneer and a hero to many of us in our local music scene. I am someone who has a passion for radio, for music, for connecting with people. I think that is the, the strain of why this happened, the DNA strain of why I'm even in here, in this radio station. It just seems like it was bound to happen since I was very young. Not that I don't have other interests or other accomplishments or want to continue to achieve, but there was something pulling me towards a radio station very early on. Influential people in my life would have to start with family because my mom gave me my first microphone to play with. Also my friends who I think are our early audiences. I, I started to get the sense, I'm like, okay, maybe I can take this sense of humor that's getting me kicked out of class and this sort of sharp tongue to find the punchline and maybe I can turn it into something productive. You need at least one person to open the door and say, this young person has something. And for me, that was Steve Cormier. He was my first actual program director in Burlington. And I was very young, but he treated me with respect. He opened the door. To be a radio personality is dedicating yourself to being true to your voice, whether it's an enhanced version of you or whether it's some character that you've built that works for you, there's still something magic about personalities. It takes a while to become yourself. That to me is what I've kind of distilled things down, no matter uh, what market you're in, how long you've been doing it, how many zeros are in the paycheck, anything like that. To become yourself, that is the goal. I'm here at EQX because I believe we're doing something that's important to people. There are lots of jobs to be had and one never knows where the future takes any of us. But being here for 10 plus years, something I've seen time and time again is this station and radio as a medium, but particularly EQX, connects with people. And in ways that I don't know. I, I could do a show every day and I still don't have any real clue of what people are doing except with what they share with me or us and also myself as a radio fan. You know, it's, it's a companion. It's always been a companion. And it just means something to some people. But it means something to everybody. That's what connects me to EQX. EQX's involvement in the community and the music community especially is something that any of us that are here at the station, we just keep building on it. It's from being a part of shows, festivals, being fortunate enough to collide with bands on their way up. Um, even bands that don't hit the heights they want. You know, not, it doesn't make sense. Not everybody's gonna get the height they want, but that's okay. It doesn't take away from the artistry or the creativity. And it's a big part of what we do, whether it's the local music shows that we do, EQ Exposure. We have a feature every day, uh, daytime and night, local at 11. So we are always pumping things out. And that's very hard for people to, uh, musicians to crack into FM radio. If you have a dream of being in broadcasting, it's like any other dream. Find out what it takes, what the job opportunities are. You could look at the numbers, you could look at the stats, and then you could say, I don't care. I want to do it. This, this is in me. It has to be done. And there are multiple ways now to get yourself across. You don't just have to be a radio personality. Um, to me though, if you want to be a radio personality, you have to be consistent and it's a relationship you build with people and whether you're a uh, funny, whether you're over the top, whether you're subtle, whatever works for you, being consistent. And that's what builds a connection to radio audiences. It, it does not happen in a week or a month or two months. You got to really put the time in. And when you do, I think that's when people really start to connect with you.